We are in Arizona, but we are about 7,000 feet up in the mountains here, and it gets pretty cold. So it's been hitting the mid-teens, and Victoria's not been very happy in the mornings that cold. So it's time to install a block heater. So this is what I got. What I, so this is what I've got. It's an immersion heater. It'll go in the coolant system here through that three-quarter inch plug, which is down in there. So I've cleaned it off a bit, otherwise it was hard to find. It's just about flush in there, covered with grime. It actually took me a few minutes to find it. And thank goodness for the little diagram. So just for reference, this is the passenger side of the engine, right behind the compressor, and down in there. Let me put the tripod up and we'll do the next steps. By the way, I finally got a decent microphone just to get rid of some of this wind noise. So that is a half inch square and it took me longer probably to get all the crap, dirt and everything out of that than it'll take me to get this out. Oh man. Time to get a bigger wrench. There we go. I will lose some coolant, but I've got more. Part of the reason I'm not worried about losing the coolant is because I want to make sure it's the proper stuff anyway. I have no idea what the dilution ratio is on that. So this will give me a chance just to make sure that it's correct. I'm going to put this in just for fit, clearance. All right. Yep, it goes in all the way. Time to get some thread sealant on this. I have mentioned before in other videos that I really like this Rector Seal True Blue pipe thread sealant. So much better than Teflon tape. All right, this is a 32 millimeter socket. The only one I had that was big enough is a one inch. So I've got a one inch to three quarter. And that won't fit. All right. Box end wrench. Well, make that an adjustable.
All right, that is snug. It says to install it with the pins oriented vertically, the two pins on which this plugs on. Did I really just say on which this plugs on? Kind of redundant. So anyway, I plugged that on and then there's a little retainer nut, knurled nut tightening around it and I'm running this pointed dot slightly actually I'm going to turn it around point it forward but just make sure that I keep the power cord clear of the compressor belt Plenty of room there, that should be easy. I will zip tie the power cord to this compressor airline and run it down and towards the front then. All right, anyway, all that's left is just to finish routing this up towards the front, zip tie it securely where I can get to the plug on the end and then add coolant. There you go, CAT 3208 turbo with a block heater. Hopefully she'll be happier in the mornings now. It is snowing a bit, but I've got my new block heater plugged in. First time. Wow. Wow, that was an easy cold start. Right on. Okay, this was a good addition. Have a great day off. <laughs>